we also have to condemn police inaction. Police inaction in Kibera, for example. I was there just the day after you know, the burning of the mosque and the church. Mm. And the people were very clear. They were angry because uh, initially only the religious leaders and civil society were allowed to speak. And they were angry and they were saying, you've just come here. We also want to speak and we want to, you know, air our grievances. And their grievances were very clear that they called the authorities, they called the police to come before things got worse. But then no one came. Yeah, we saw what happened in Northlands. 24 hours later is when the police are going there. Mm -hmm. So we have to condemn the violence. We have to condemn the police in action. We have to, you know, our duty and our responsibility is to hold each and every private and public institutions accountable. So that's number one. So we have to be fair for bo on both sides. Secondly, we are asking uh, the, the, the gentleman here to go a step further than just to condemn. Do something, as you've said, you know, to ensure that this does not continue. You know, whether it's through, you know, parliament, whether it's through our political parties, the sides that we belong to, we have to push for something to be done because we can be here and the time is almost over. Mm. But then what are we committing to as we move forward from this, from this uh, studio? Are we saying that, uh, you know, holding on to our positions the way we came in, that we are still holding on to that, that we have a right to protest, yes, but then no action to, you know, perhaps control the, 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 the protesters in the event should they also decide to engage in violence? Are we saying that, you know, police will be allowed to use excessive force, you know, against uh, people who are exercising their right to protest? Are we saying that, you know, people can invade private property without even us doing anything. So for me, I'm, 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 I'm glad there's condemnation of what is happening around. Okay. And we are agreeing that, yes, this is not right. But then I'm asking and pleading and to the gentlemen here and also their political uh, divides to do something. Because now you, we are clearly understanding here that what is happening is not right. Okay, Hossein, when you talk about that and the inaction that also yesterday the Kenya National Human Rights Commission pointed out, yes. an international commission of jurists. Yes. When we had created Katiba 2010 and, and the vast array of independent institutions that were born out of uh, the yes. constitution that uh, we hold as the supreme law in Kenya, it was for the police to be independent in their operations. And, and that's what the president insisted upon when he met the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, of course following the events in the country back home. But I wonder, wh why then do you think still in terms of operations there seems to be a slow response to some? Is it because of the executive's influence and why the incapacitation of the existing capacity? I think there's obviously influence. I mean, if you look at, uh, you know, what is being said out there, you know, if, if we are guided by the constitution and the laws of the land, it should be very simple, it should be very clear. For example, just speaking to the issue before us here today, the right to protest, Article 37 is very clear. The Public Order Act, you, you don't need a license, you're not asking for permission from the police. I know this because we hold protests ourselves as civil society. It is a notice. You are notifying the police. You're not asking the police for permission. You are simply telling them that we are going to protest. And you do that so that they offer protection, not just to protesters, but also to the businesses and you know, other private right. persons who may not be interested or may not be participating mm -hmm. in that protest. And that's the purpose of the Public Order Act. It's very clear. Three days to 14 days. Three days so that police have ample time to prepare. And 14 days so that it's not too much time before they can even make a judgment on how to support you. Thank you. Yeah? Um, so, but there's clear influence. And I think that this is open. And for every Kenyan, it's out there for them to see. Uh, if you look at the Northlands uh, case, if you look at the Kibera case, okay. there are so many people who tweeted. Yeah, Boniface Wangi, for example, kept insisting on tweets, where are the police? We want to see the police before things get out of hand in Kibera. Okay. But there was silence. There was nothing of, of the kind. So we are asking the police to discharge their mandate in accordance with the constitution and the laws of the land and not to be influenced either way, All right. you know, to support any political divide. Because if the police are influenced, then my, my friend Ayub, I don't know where we're going to. Okay,